Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is Russ, RWG Research. Late night, working my butt off, getting the garage cleaned out for the outside lab. It looks good. It's gonna work. Ready to start testing tomorrow. And uh, right now I'm sitting. It's really late again. <clears throat> I gotta get up in a few hours and go to work. I guess I have to go to bed first before I get up. But uh, this is what I got for you. I've got the pulser set up. The pulse firer, I got it hooked up to my coil, and uh, I've got a 24 volt power supply, uh, an amp meter here hooked up, pulling about four amps pulsed, and uh, right now I'm actually running about 3.4 hertz, but you got to divide that by five, so it's actually different because it's the way it functions, the way it's coded and set up. It's the way you got to do it for now, and uh, got my power switches here for each one of the outputs so I can actually turn all of these off and uh, no amp flow. Let's just say if I turn one on, okay, if I turn two on, three on, four on, and five on. So there's your full load right there, okay. So that's how that works as far as being able to switch outputs off and I can actually, you know, just let's say I want the first one, the middle one, the last one on but pulsing in the same sequence and I can do that just gonna miss a beat but anyway got this thing hooked up I got just the main coils hooked up here just the big ones and um, what I found was very interesting right now the coils are actually getting pretty warm um, but I got my magnetic detector here that I built a while back if you guys haven't seen this it's pretty sweet but uh, you can see it's working here it's pulsing so it's giving me a pulsing signal uh, which is what I wanted. Uh, one thing I did find interesting is that I thought I should be able to take like a uh, here I got a steely. Alright, it's a steel ball. I figured I could put this in here and make it go really slow and it would pulse the basically it would pulse and be able to shoot it like down the center of this if I went real slow. But uh, it doesn't, really, it doesn't really do that, which I find interesting. Once you get into the middle of this core, it's almost like it's a dead zone, uh, which makes sense, but uh, I might have to work on something a little bit different for that. But here's what I really found interesting. Um, well, before I get started, I did build a schematic for this. Um, this half of the circuit, I built it. It's over at the forums, and... Uh, it's good to go. It's there to download. So anyway, I just want to show you that real quick too. So here's what I want. Here's what I really want to show you. I thought this was quite interesting. Um, basically, you can actually hear the uh, the noise. See that pulsing? All right. But if you listen. Now I'm going to face the camera so you can see the LEDs over there. But I want you to listen to the the sound that the coil's making. All right, I'll be quiet so you can hear it. And I'm going to slowly I got this potentiometer set up to turn my hertz up. So when I turn this potentiometer up, you can see my frequency adjusting there. Okay? So, listen to this. I'll turn it up higher so you can hear it real well. Alright. The coil is actually making noises. Yeah. I think I got the mic in the wrong end. Here we go. Now you can hear that pulsing and look at this look at this wire right there. It's hard to see but it's actually bouncing. 
with the current going through it. It's kind of cool to see. Alright, anyway. Uh, if I can get this camera flipped the right way. I just want to show you that. I thought that was quite interesting, the fact that the, uh, the coil is actually making noises. Um, I think it might be the plastic here vibrating, but um, I did see a demo that uh, Free the Stone posted where a guy took a microphone, held it up to a piece of iron, and polarized it, and then flipped the magnet over, and slowly went into that magnet, and you could hear it. You could hear the actual atoms changing polarities within the core. Of a, of a solid material. It was really, really cool. That's posted on the forums as well. Uh, but uh, I'll try to find that link and send it to you. It's a pretty long video, but I'm thinking maybe the same similar thing here is happening in the the uh, amplifications happening through the coils or something. I don't know. Anyway, I won't bore you too much longer. I know some of you have been following my work that really may not understand exactly what I'm doing. And uh, I appreciate you folks doing that. Uh, Watch and learn, and hopefully you'll learn something, even if it's way over your head. I hope you do learn something. I'm going to go get some sleep. Then I'm going to wake up tomorrow, go to work, come back home, rock out on this stuff. I hope to get the uh, hydrogen, oxygen cell working, functionally going, and uh, play with some hydrogen, strictly hydrogen and high voltage. That should be some really fun stuff. So... Looking forward to that, and I got good responses on the live uh, the live feed thing. If I do that, I still will be, will be posting YouTube videos. So the, the few of you who said no because you can't watch it, uh, don't worry. I'll still be posting videos, but uh, it's just going to be, like, kind of weird doing that, but I can do it. Um, right now, I'm just thinking about the idea. I want to hear your responses, so now I'm just gathering up my thoughts. And uh, if I do that, I'll do that. If I don't, I don't. If I do do it, I may just play live for like five hours that I'm out you know working on this project and uh, and maybe do something like that and then maybe I might set up a, an actual broadcast time and do a certain experiment on a certain time it's just gonna be really hard for me to do that so it might actually slow me down as some of you have uh, said it may actually slow me down I'll see just wanted to get you guys opinion so appreciate the feedback Russ RWG research dot com peace